Hey fellow commodians, this is Red. Today I'm going to show you how to make a reverse sear steak that tastes just as good or even better than at high-end steak restaurants. The ingredients couldn't be any simpler. All you need is salt, fresh ground black pepper, and your favorite cut of steak. I'll be using one of my favorites, a nice thick cut of ribeye that has been trimmed of excess fat. Start by sprinkling salt and pepper on all sides. Season it according to your preference. The traditional method of cooking steak that many steakhouses use is to start off by searing the steak on a pan or grill and then finishing it off in the oven. On the Kamado, I'm going to use a method called reverse sear, where the steps are reversed. Here I've set up the Kamado to create two cooking zones, one for cooking the steak with indirect heat and the other to sear the steak over a direct fire. I've heated the Kamado to 225 degrees and I'll start by placing the ribeye on the side with indirect heat. I'll let it cook here until the steak reaches an internal temperature of 110 degrees. When the steak has reached 110 degrees, take it out, wrap it with foil, and set it aside. I'll now open up the vents on the Kamado and let the temperature increase to around 550 degrees. Some folks will get their Kamados up to 700-800 degrees for searing, but I prefer to keep the fire at a more manageable 550-600 to 600 degree range. Now that the Kamado has reached 550 degrees, I'm going to place the ribeye onto a pre-oiled grate and let it sear for about 30 seconds. For medium rare, we're going to shoot for an internal temperature of 135 degrees. After 30 seconds, give the steak a quarter turn to allow attractive crisscross sear patterns to form. After another 30 seconds, Flip the steak over and repeat. The steak is now ready to be taken out of the Kamado. Be sure to let the steak rest for 5 minutes before digging in. Hey Kamadians, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Kamado Planet. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more food from all around the world cooked in the Kamado.